Hello and welcome back to another Killer Ant Reviews. Today we'll be talking about Star Colony by Keith Lummer. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I'm terrible with his name, so I do apologize. And as I said in the previous video, yeah, uh, hand is injured from a one-inch gash from a from a shard of glass. But so, what can I what can I talk about this book? Uh, let's talk about the cover first. I definitely definitely like the whole design of the ship and the the world so that's a pr it's a pretty decent cover back eh, standard um, that was actually a sticker that I tore off uh, definitely ripped off part of the cover but that was my fault um, however it kind of stops there I actually did not enjoy this book at all sadly I look like if you see my reviews I love the sci-fi fantasy genre genre and there are certain books that I just can't get into and this is one of them. It's a pretty long, long like 400, 400 pages, and it felt like it goes on forever. Um, part of it is it has like these little breaks, like it happens like every page, half a page, like these little chapters. But it's just the writing style. I just couldn't get into it, couldn't get into the characters. Um, instead of just going up a whole setting of where these characters are, especially in the beginning, I was like, oh yeah, we're jumping from character to character, 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 in like, and it's only like each character's thing is like a page, half a page, page and a half. It's just, uh, I just gotta get into it, which is sad. Because I was hoping, because look at the description where, uh, we're basically a colony ship reached the destination and. The crew and passenger unloads with the cargo, and then the ship disappears. And the first part definitely kind of started feeling like that, like different parts of the crew, and then the ship leaves, and there's like an interview, and then it kind of jumps to another character, and I just couldn't follow it. I just, I just couldn't like it. That's the that's the big problem. I mean, I don't really have much else to talk about this book. It was just a slog to get through. It was just, which is kind of sad. It's like I, I know, I know. Looking online, some people did enjoy this book. For me, I just, just didn't get into it. Uh, this is basically a, one of my quicker reviews, just because it's really nothing much to talk about. It's just, it's just dull. I'm sorry. I mean, I hate trash talk, trashing books because I always try to find something good about it. I just couldn't find anything good about this one. So, uh, if the, if the author or any of his family or friends sees this, I definitely do apologize. I have a lot of respect towards sci-fi fantasy authors. And some t and with some audiences, it hits, and others, it, it doesn't. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people do like this book, and I have nothing against that. If you like a book that I, don't, that I hate, uh, that's fine. I mean, everyone's opinion is different. Um, what would I give this book overall? Two and a half. There was a couple of... There's a couple of good scenes, and near the end I started getting back into it a bit, but but this is definitely one I should not have picked up, so I definitely apologize, but still, still I always commend an author for coming out and, and making a book, so, so, I'm, so if I ever do come across any of this guy's other books, I'll, I'll definitely pick it up and read it, because one author who makes a bad book, sometimes they make good books too. Uh, so until next time, this is Killer Ant.